senses to confront these post-normal crisis dynamics. And I really think that um, it's going to be not about, uh, if you like, the social contract in the old. If you look at the climate problem, uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you look at the data, the rich have the highest carbon emissions, including in this country. If you look at resource use, the rich have the highest footprint. <coughs> if you look at pollution, the rich are at the heart of that problem. So the kind of social contract we're talking about is going to have to be telling those who are responsible for the problem to deal with it. Okay? This means wealth taxes. This means ecological taxes, etc. It's going to have to be a climate emergency social contract or a climate justice deal, which I argue for, and so on, where we really get to the heart of the problems. This cannot be another band-aid another quick fix and we all pat our back. We love doing that in South Africa. We have invented spaces. We'll have this Codessa and we'll invite and choreograph things. No, sorry, the stakes are too high here. And we're gonna have to have those hard conversations to crystallize that consensus we need to take this country forward, give it, give it a livable, just and democratic future. If you want me to protect you, rich people, vote for me. <laughs>